Baka ikaw to in the near future. Papunta kang Gilmore. But don't go there. Go here. Hindi ka kumain ng ilang buwan para makabili ng bagong GPU. But on the way to the computer shop, napaisip ka, magkano na ba yung mga GPU ngayon? This video will help answer that question. GPU, pati CPU, magkano na ba sila ngayon? Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang ang order. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sudden depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com So, new data for October is up. And the point of this video was to see if the new hardware that came in, Intel 14th Gen CPUs just dropped, new AMD GPUs, 7700 XT, 7800 XT, dropped about a couple of weeks ago. Have we seen any price changes because of that? Short answer, not really. The 4060 has been making improvements in terms of the price of the 3060, but a bit early to tell the 14th gen literally just came out yesterday. I'm recording this on Thursday. You're probably seeing this on Friday if you watched it when it dropped. So it's too early to tell for the new AMD releases and the Intel release how that will affect prices of older hardware. But I did want to point out that we have revamped the AMD GPUs for tracking. That we would track 6500 XT, 6700 XT, but it was very hard to find the shops that carried that so hindi na siya representative of the market so we've changed it to the 6600 and the 7700 xt this is 30,000 pesos or so not bad for the 7700 xt basically reviews nung 7700 xt and 7800 xt they're quite similar in performance you would probably just want to pay a bit more for the 7800 xt Pero, medyo malaki yung price jump niya, at least dito sa atin. A 7800 XT will probably go for around 36 k 35000 or so. Might be even a bit more expensive depending on the actual brand. Whereas, the average price of a 7700 XT is only around 30000 So, most of the reviews I've seen would recommend just biting the bullet and getting the more expensive 7800 XT. Pero you are biting a bit more of the bullet if you buy it here sa atin. Medyo malaki yung price gap nila. More housekeeping news. I have started color coding the summary. Dito kasi sa per shop dive, naka-indicate na siya. Okay, so if it's in blue, that means it went down from last month. Last month, it was 9.3. And then this month, it's now 8.9.70. So blue yan. So we've gone ahead and done the same thing for the summary. Kung tumaas from last month, it will be in red. Kung bumaba in blue. And the 4080 has remained the same. Rock steady. We'll do the summaries first. Actually, long story short, not much has changed pricing-wise. Yung nabanggit ko last month na medyo mahirap makuha ng supplies ng 7900XTX, that is still true. We are getting shipments in, but there are only a few units per shipment. So a lot of the suppliers sell out fast. Although I've noticed that the shops reporting na may 7900XTX sila, they still have stock or at least they're still reporting na available. On the NVIDIA side, the 1650 went up very slightly. It's maintaining its below 9000 price point so far. 3050, a slight price decrease, very slight. 3060, slight price increase, 100 pesos or so. The 4060 is... Had the price drop, so it is below 20k at the moment for the average price. And it's basically neck and neck with the 3060. And I've often wondered 
why that's the case. Because the 4060 is the newer card. It's a faster card. There's no reason why it would be selling for around the same price as the 3060. The 3060 should be cheaper significantly than a 4060. And take note that the 3060 we track here is the 12 gigabyte version. Now, there might be some purists who argue that, well, you're only getting 8 gigabytes of VRAM with the 4060 compared to the 12 gigabytes of the 12 gigabyte version of the 3060. But even then, performance when you rank 3060 12 gigabytes versus 4060 the 4060 comes out on top so there's really no reason why there should only be a 200 peso difference or so between them but that's one positive side of the release of the 4060 either the 4060 comes down to be kind of close to the 3060 or the 3060 goes down so at least there's been some good price movement because of that release Slight price increase for the 4070. These are actually pretty good prices for the 4070. Like we have an ASUS 4070, which is around 40K or so. So in the deep dive, we'll see what brands these are. Probably Galax, Palit. Um, but this is a good average price. Again, we take note of the cheapest price per GPU. But there can be a lot of price variance between the brands. 4080, same price, and a nice price decrease for the 4090. Okay, so starting this month, we're going to be tracking the 6600 for AMD. Just so difficult to find 6500 XT anymore. And we started off with an average price of 12,480. We did get good sampling. In For the 6600, we had three samples. Yes, three samples. And you can take note here, dito sa summary natin, I put if we are unable to get the full four samples. Because that can have a big impact on just how representative talaga the price is. The smaller the sample size, then, you know, maybe it's not a great snapshot of the market in general. For example, the 7950X, out of the four shops, I was only able to find one that carried it. 7700 XT, again, debuting this month at a very reasonable 30,000 pesos. The 7900XTX went up actually slightly. So it's been bouncing around. So it's been measured steady at 66 in June, July, August. Had a price decrease in September. And now we're back up to almost 68,000 actually. So we're seeing prices like it's closer to its April price rather than in the succeeding months. I. Just again to point out the price disparity between NVIDIA and AMD, roughly the 7900XTX is comparable to a 4080. So there's like a um, almost 20,000 peso difference between those two cards. The 7900XTX is already the top of the line of AMD. It is way cheaper than the top of the line of NVIDIA. Nice run of lower prices for AMD CPUs. Again, as we pointed out earlier, this is only from one store, so take it with a grain of salt. But it did go down by a nice amount compared to last month. Same with the 7800X3D, 600 pesos or so, not bad. 7600X went down also, slightly. 5600X also went down by around 500 pesos, so not bad. Surprisingly, the 5600G went up slightly. Although I'm not really surprised because the 5600G is a very popular CPU. It's a good performer for its price. And it's so good that you can even do gaming on it. So we do have a lot of first-time customers coming in. Either they want an office build with a bit of kick or you know they just want something that can play games like Dota 2, Valorant to a certain extent. The 5600G is, uh, sells well at the shop. And that's in comparison to the 5700G, which not a lot of people look for. Kumbaga yung big brother niya. Yung mabenta talaga is yung 5600G. Even now, kahit lumabas na yung AM5 7000 series ni AMD. The R5 3600 data is all over the place because you notice like 5000, closer to 6, then 5, 4, 5, 4. Wala akong mahanap last month and then this month it's closer to 8,000 because I sometimes have to list data for three types. So three type CPUs are still legitimate CPUs but they don't come with a box. 
sometimes they also don't come with the stock cooler. So sometimes they just really the CPU in a plastic case. So here at Price Watch, we try to get as much pricing data as possible. Kung hindi available yung regular box type version, we list the trade type, which is why the prices are a bit all over the place because these are prices for the trade type. Here, the current R53600 available is the box type, but I think only one shop has it. Yeah, it was only one sample size, so again, not very representative of the market. 3900K went up slightly. Weird because, well, baka the 14th gen hasn't been factored in yet here. The 14th gen performance is actually very similar to the 13th gen at a very similar price. So you're getting slightly better at a slightly higher price because they are basically the same chips. Intel added just a little bit to some of the chips, but basically they didn't add a whole lot. And the performance and the pricing reflects that. 13600K, yeah, slight price decrease and the same price for the 12500. So long story short, prices have not changed a lot for October. If you're still waiting, if you can wait, I would wait. Historically, let's take a look. Huh? Are there price decreases for December? Not really, actually. <laughs> actually, we could do a whole Price Watch episode on that. We're looking at the data from 2022. We used to do this weekly. So this was the last reported data from December before January. But you can see like the... This should be December. Not a lot of price movement from the past months, the weeks leading up to December. So actually, I will probably focus on that next price watch episode. Like, do PC retailers in the Philippines discount come Christmas time? We'll do our traditional deep shop dive. So Wedge had slight price decrease for the 1650. Most GPUs remaining steady, 4070, a slight price increase actually. So we should change that. 79850, same price. And the price increase for the 4090. Price increase for Roy for the 1650 and the 3050. Decrease for the 3060. I sh would expect there to be decreases. Um, 18K. This is a good price, like closer to 18k rather than 19k. This is also a very good price for a 4060, 19,000. 4070 at 38, which is already cheaper than its previous price. No 4080 for Roy, same price. Joker had just price decreases, good for Joker. This 4060 is above 19k, but considering it's an MSI and Ventus, that's probably. Within the bulk park, this is a bit pricey though for a 3060, 19,500. You notice it wasn't decreased from last month. Same parin. For wash, price increase for the 1650 <laughs> and the 3060. Again, this is, these are crazy prices. Like, it, it's very clear here. The 3060 is more expensive than the 4060 by a substantial amount, over 1,000 pesos. And there's no, Rational. There's there's no like performance reason, or I can't like I couldn't justify. I have no idea why <laughs> the thirty sixty is more expensive than the forty sixty. Forty seventy bit price increase, price decrease on the forty ninety. For the AMD GPUs, yeah, last month was really terrible for data on again why I decided to switch up. The AMD GPUs that we are tracking is very difficult, if you notice here, for last month to find any kind of data. We're doing much better for this month when we switched up the GPUs that we were tracking. But now we don't have historical data, so hindi to color-coded since there's nothing to compare it to from last month. Not much movement at all in terms of CPU prices. Just checking if I actually tallied the data and compared it properly, but mukhang tama naman. Um, not much of a change. Roy, Roy in particular doesn't have a lot of CPUs. They tend more towards the entry-level market, but they're actually a very big retailer. But like, they struck out on all of our Intel CPUs and half of our AMD CPUs. So, 
I'm surprised Wedge doesn't have a 5600G. Yung nga, these are very big retailers in the PC space in our country, but even they have gaps in their inventory and weird pricing differences. Yung nga, why is the 4060 cheaper than the 3060? But that's why we do Price Watch, so we can try to get a snapshot of the average prices in the industry. So if we didn't cover the CPU or the GPU that you're looking for, at least you can compare ano yung ballpark nila compared to the prices that we have listed here and the historical performance of those prices. Not much has changed, honestly, from September. New hardware has been released, but there hasn't been an effect yet on the market. It hasn't dragged down the prices of older hardware. We'll see if that happens in the coming months, and we'll see if the Christmas season would be better than last Christmas season where there wasn't a big change. So that's it for October Price Watch. If you do buy now, enjoy it. If you can wait a little bit, maybe prices will get a bit better because they haven't changed much from last September. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.